Hey, this is another great video by Rookie Kennerly Sickens. What we're looking at today is breeding decisions. The biggest decision that I have to face on, on my breeding decisions, which I am a breeder of fish, is where to put the fish. I'm always constantly wanting to know where I'm going to put this fish if I breed these two fish. I'm always wanting to breed more fish. And I don't always have the room. And, and you know, after a while, you think MTS will not stall out, but in my case, I've got as many aquariums as I want. So I got to decide where to put fish at all times. I'm always thinking about it. Every day I'm thinking, where can I put these fish if I breed these fish? Uh, you know, how quickly can I sell these? How quickly can I grow them up? So what we got going on is something exciting. Uh, I'm not going to show them in this video, but I have some fertosas that bred, and it's been a couple of weeks, two and a half weeks, or whatever. I'm going to be uh, stripping them today. You'll be able to see it in another video, uh, probably one right after this one. Uh, and so I had to have a you know room, a place to put these fertosas. Uh, so I don't have extra tanks that I want to set up anywhere. I don't really have room. I have a few aquariums and storage, but I don't have room to set these up. I don't have the time to take care of them. So I've made a decision to move Starburst to a bigger aquarium that's going to allow him to get bigger because he'll grow bigger in a bigger aquarium. Uh, it's going to be a more of a display tank where the whole family and visitors can see it. So it's kind of exciting to give Starburst a, kind of a show, show area. Uh, and I'll be showing you we clean out both aquariums because, you know, sometimes there's tanks that I slack on. Uh, I got so many. You know, a little bit of algae, you know, it's not good for a video, but it's not bad for the fish. So, you know, and everybody does some cleaning and maintenance. So I'll be showing you some cleaning and maintenance, some of the things I do uh, to get that ready. This has been a breeding decision that I always face, where to put the fish. So check out this video. All right, this is the current Starburst Aquarium. And there's a little bit of glare, but that's on, on purpose. I want you to see if there's a window next to the starburst tank. And I have it open uh, a lot of times during the day. A lot of algae builds up. And for the most part, I decide just to start uh, keeping the algae off the, the front and let it grow on the sides uh, and the back. And you see how much algae there is on the back. There's a lot. There's starburst. Exceptional looking dragon blood. Now you see there's some uh, OBs in there as well. Now Starburst uh, was used in the first step to create the Dragon Knight Peacock Cichlid. Uh, that program is going well. Um, you know I probably will be breeding more times uh, the Starburst with the OBs but the second step will not actually include uh, Starburst. Uh, so it will be the offspring of Starburst that will be breeding to get the second step. So what we got here is we got some substrate. We just have a uh, sponge filtration here. I have a, a trash can back, uh, trash bag background. It's black. You see it back here. It's very cheap. You know, uh, you know painting the the, the back uh, the background. You know, is nice, but paint on a and glass if you just barely scrape it can come off and you can spend a lot of work and money painting the uh, uh, back of an aquarium uh, I've done it on a lot of them so from now on if I want a quick background that looks pretty decent I use a black trash bag so on this this setup here uh, we just have a couple rocks he moves the substrate a lot around when he's breeding so when I'm setting up for the front toes, I'll be moving that around because it's baby front toes. I uh, don't really move the substrate around a lot. And I'll be putting a couple of plants in here because um, these guys probably would bother the plants a little bit in this small aquarium just from the sheer uh, bouncing around that they do in this aquarium. So I'll be changing that out. So let's get a look at me clean up this aquarium. And then I'm gonna, first I'm going to clean up this aquarium, get it looking pretty good. Uh, and then I want to be moving the fish so stay tuned okay what I've done here is I've cleaned the glass off with a scraper 
think it's great, but I like it. I use the plastic blades. I know the metal blades work better, but occasionally they scratch the glass. Uh, and I, I like my glass without scratches in it. So, uh, first, for years, I never used the plastic scraper, but now I think it's one of my favorite ones. So what I've done is I've really uh, agitated the sand. I moved it around a lot, stirred it up big time, and get all that uh, debris uh, mixed up in the water. And I'll be uh, using a python to uh, siphon that out. You've seen enough videos on that. This shows you all the waste in the water. That's what's in the aquarium. There's very little in the, in the sponge filter right now because I cleaned it out here like last week. So when I do the water change, most of the waste in this aquarium is going to be gotten out. Where if you're using a canister filtration, a lot of your waste is going to stay in the canister and it's going to be in the system. So that waste is still in the aquarium. But when I do a water change now, none of that's going into the filtration. It's coming out. So I don't have any waste in some separate area that's going to be staying there. So, uh, let me get this water out with the python. I'm not going to show that. I'll show you after I fill up the water. Um, people see too many videos with the hose in the aquarium. So, it's actually been a couple of days. Uh, the project got delayed. But, look at this water. It's crystal clear. Uh, all the water has been changed out of it. I did uh, almost every bit of the water out of here. And had it so I could easily scoop up the fish with just a little minimum water in the bottom. So the fish have been moved. And you see in this aquarium I have the secret sauce. For, for front toes, my secret sauce happened to be snails. Snails, sometimes a lot of people see them as pests. They eat a lot of that waste in the substrate. So... I'm sure there won't be as many sub, uh, snails in there after a while because there won't be as much waste uh, in the aquarium with the front toses. It's looking good. It's getting ready for the front toses. And now we'll go to the aquarium where the Starburst is at now, his show tank. So this is Starburst's new show tank. Uh, you can see here that there's already fish that were in here before, some smaller size icebreakers. So if they do get big enough, there's females. Starburst can mate with the icebreaker females. Uh, the OBs are in here. Everything's looking good. Let me give you a little zoom in on Starburst here. Let me change this to manual. So what we got here is Starburst looking exceptional. Great coloration. Look at that white he has on his forehead. Some glaze and those white lips. So he's a show fish and he will be breeding in the future with different breeding programs. But I wanted to have a show aquarium. This is a 45 gallon aquarium. Now this has a canister filtration on it uh, because this, this presently is my used to be my father's tank so I haven't switched it out to sponge filtration. I'll probably leave the canister filtration on this one. So let's look at some of the other fish in here. Got some of those OBs in here. Look at them. They're looking really nice. Then you have uh, the icebreakers in here. The only thing about the icebreakers when they're young, you know, they're just gray. Look at Starburst again. So Starburst got an upgrade. Finally figure out for where the decision would be for, to put this fish and his mates, the females. He's going to grow a lot bigger in this aquarium and you get to see a lot more of him in this aquarium in the future. So thanks for watching. This has been Ricky Kennelly Cichlids. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video from Ricky Kennelly Cichlids. Because I will be stripping toe. Uh, the toe has got a huge mouthful. I would say that they are swimming. And the egg sacs may not be completely gone. But we'll see here 
the next video, so stay tuned for it.